so now here the given question is design band star filter with cutoff frequencies they given two cutoff frequencies right so assume that pass band gain of two pass band gain of two right so now whenever they given first to draw the circuit then only we can come to know what we can find out right so band pass filter means parallel combination of high pass and low pass you can draw this one or here or here now right so here I am drawing the high pass, low pass. Right? If you want, you can draw here low pass, high pass. But we need to connect in parallel. Right? Output of both we need to connect to the summing circuit. Summing circuit here I am taking it as inverting configuration. Inverting configuration. So now here, so how we can select? So now first designing of first we go with uh, high pass. I am going on. Hmm? high pass active filter. High pass active filter, right? Whenever we are going with high pass active filter, right? How we are selecting the cutoff frequency that is very important. So, for band star filter, right? For high pass filter, we need to select it as FH higher cutoff frequency. We need to select high pass higher cutoff high frequency, frequency, low pass lower cutoff frequency. frequency. But band pass, pass means quite opposite, right? Man? So now given value is FH is yeah. by comparing this one 10 kilohertz. 10 kilohertz. Right now. Choose capacitor value. Choose capacitor value. Right. So high pass I am representing it as C. Right. C equals to high frequency if you are selecting less, less value. So microfarad is selected. Right. So we know the formula FH equals to 1 by 2 pi. RC so we can find out the value of resistance right choose the standard value right next go with low, low pass active filter right so for this one we need to select low pass low means pass. lower cutoff frequency okay. lower cutoff frequency is 100, 100 hertz yes. given right so we need to choose the, the capacitor, capacitor value capacitor. it should be maximum of this one so choose the value of 0 0.05 microfarad mm -hmm. Right now. So we know that lower cutoff frequency equals to 1 by 2 pi RC. So from this one we can find out the value of R dash. This is C dash. Hmm? C dash. Low pass now I represented R dash C dash. So find out the R dash value. Choose the standard value. Later, later they given pass band gain equals to 2. So in band stop filter, right? Either low pass filter voltage gain or pass band gain of high pass filter both are equal. Why? Because both are connected parallel. So they given the value is 2. Right? Any one you take. So low pass filter I am taking. Low pass filter means so now pass band gain it is depending on the feedback resistance. So 1 plus RF dash by R1 dash. Right? That it will be equivalent to 2. So choose. R1 dash is equal to R1 equals to 10 kilo ohm. Substitute here, we can find out the value of RF dash. Right now. So choose the standard value. So RF uh, select RF value equals to RF dash. Whatever you know, the value you are getting, put here. Next, designing of summing circuit. Designing of summing, summing circuit. circuit. So summing circuit means so some of the Output of low pass and high pass we need to get here. Yeah. For this one, you select the value here. R2 value, you select the lower uh, R2 value, you select any one resistance value. So choose R2 value as I am selecting it as 1 kilo ohm. I am selecting it as 1 kilo, one kilo ohm. Then RS value, we need to select it as we need to select it as. 2 times of 2 times of R2 value 2 times of R2 value selected right now so R2 value means 2 kilo ohm we can get right now next R3 value where it is connected to the non inverting terminal so parallel combination of RS and RS and R2 we can get the value of R3 choosing standard value 